Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. I wanna, I wanna say something for a second. Thank you so much, each and every single one of you guys looking through the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for the support. I don't know if you guys really know, but I've been, I've literally put my whole life aside for kicking their best TV, and I mean that. I, I, like everything, I gave up on everything just to pursue what I'm doing now. Years ago, you know, going on eight years, I gave up everything, and. I really want to be where I'm at today without the viewers watching right now. And I mean that. I really do. I only got one more week of my college career and I'm done with it, guys. Done with it. I have not got to put my full effort, my full time into kicking their bass. So now is the time. I, I talked about it the last three years. It's the time to let Noah out of his cage. Noah is getting out of the cage. Noah is getting out of school, getting all that stuff out of the way. We're gonna be spreading the love, getting all the viewers engaged in the content. I wanna have a bunch of fan meetups coming up. I wanna have a bunch of stuff to where I can get together with you guys and show the love to you guys as well, as much as you do it to me. Man, I just, I, re I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to start off this video saying that because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube nowadays don't go and say that. And I want you guys to know that I've always stayed true to myself since the beginning. I'm very thankful very thankful for each and every single one of you guys but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and hop into today's video and uh enough of that topic i just wanted to kind of talk about that and say thank you guys and you know big things are coming if you guys think you know just that little yachty trip is the only thing coming you guys are crazy the next couple of months are going to be awesome i've been working on a huge project and and i, I i'm just so excited about it and and when you guys see it it's, it's going to change the industry forever it's going to definitely leave a stamp in this industry for the better for the positivity it's going to make fishing great great again if you guys want to say that it's gonna be really good but anyways we're gonna talk about a little bit about this frog right here I know you guys saw it in my last video I, I talked about it but today we're actually gonna be fishing with it so I'm gonna take it out of the package I kind of want to look at the whole thing and uh, read up on it because this isn't even on the market yet by the way and I will let you guys know when these do drop um, I will and you know we have the pop and pickle as well but I don't want to throw it guys I'm gonna be honest with you I'm a little I only got one of them man I don't want to ruin it. it it just looks so good and I'm like man they send me another one that's brand new in the package I'm like I'll roll with this one today we'll put the pop and pickle for the side for a second and then when we end up getting a lot of them you know we're gonna put it to work we're gonna catch some big bass so yeah this is the vega as you guys can tell the packaging basic black and white um this one is an actual it's called frogville as you guys can tell on the side it's got like a little bit of chartreuse it's got like a brownish green or like more of like a grayish on the top and um it's got that chartreuse on the bottom it's a really sexy looking frog let's go ahead and open it up real quick no all right there she is wow that oh it looks way better out of the come on now come on now don't do this to me every single time that's so annoying guys that's what my phone does all day long all day long every day but look at that that actually looks a lot better out of the package than it did in and the detail on that thing looks awesome my, probably my favorite part about this frog is the eyes it just looks so realistic it's got that chartreuse on the bottom you know the gray on the top it's a really good looking frog so yeah this is going to be the first review over this bait probably ever i mean there's probably been a couple other people that have used the frog but you know these aren't on the market yet this is going to be the first honest review on this thing we're going to go look at it see how it walks see how it pops and kind of hop right into it i'm kind of excited about it this thing is just looking good i love the material that it's made out of too i can't wait till you guys can get your hands on these because i mean i'm, I'm really impressed with it i like it you know i think it's a clean looking frog and i and i just know it's going to catch some big bass so i'm excited about it we're going to go ahead and get it started and try to catch a big fish so before we hop into that let's go on a little walk real quick i want to talk about something so a lot of people have been asking me about frogs noah when do you use this color when do you use that color when do you use a popping frog when do you use a normal frog and i keep it very basic going into the spring time when they're going to start eating the frog and moving transitioning into that summertime i like those natural color frogs i like you know the greens i like the yellows and that's that's literally what i've always done um, i'm a big fan of straight black frogs i'm a big fan of straight white frogs all depending on the conditions of the day you know if it's bluebird skies outside or if it's cloudy outside all depends on that usually when it's sunny outside i've had a lot of luck on just a standard white frog um when it's overcast got a lot of clouds like today i've had a lot a lot of luck on a black frog but like i said around this time of year i've had a lot of luck on those natural colors so that's really good the pot and pickle would be just fabulous right now i will tell you that but this color is going to be awesome as well talking about you know popping frogs versus regular frogs popping frogs i love using them around grass i'm a big fan of throwing a popping frog around grass if there's open water you know kind of pulling it off that grass popping frog is the way to go if I'm fishing like super heavy vegetation, super heavy cover, like thick lily pads, I'm going to want to use a frog that's not a popping frog. 
and I'm gonna be able to get through that stuff a lot easier. But if I'm fishing like grass, popping frog, let me tell you, that is like the ultimate go. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one. I don't wanna talk much more, but I did wanna kinda spill that down because I've seen a lot of comments of you guys asking about it, and I was like, man, let's, let's spend a couple minutes at the beginning of the video. Let's kinda get that out of the way, talk to you guys about it. The people that don't know that, you know, that'd be a little bit more information for you to add next time you go fishing. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and tie this on my rod and uh, see how this thing works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie this on. If you guys are wondering what knot I'm tying, it's a uni knot. It's just what I stick to. So we're gonna tie a basic uni knot. That's what I tie on all my baits. If you guys wanna find a video on this, I actually have one on my channel. You just go search like kicking their bass, best fishing knot and the video will pop up but it teach you how to tie that knot that is by far one of the strongest knots ever there was test ran on it stronger than the polymer it's all in out a really good knot all right so we just made it out to the pond that we're going to be fishing today you guys know i came here recently filmed that video with bradley where we were just smacking him on the clout so i got the frog right here usually when i take a frog out of the package i don't care what kind of frog it is i usually trim down the skirt the little silicone silicone on the bottom of it i trim it down a little bit that's just what I do every single time I get a frog. I will say that the the skirt is not as long on these frogs, which is actually beneficial. And I wanted to see how this runs pretty much without that cut. So we're gonna see that. And uh, you know, like I said, every frog I get, I always cut. But then again, these are a little bit shorter. Oh my gosh. All right, look how easy that walks. I want you guys to watch this in the water. Look at that, boom. Look how easy that walks side to side. That is awesome right there, I love that. See, the tails don't look super long on this frog. I will say that. Like, they're not they're not too long by any means. And it just walks so easy. Usually when you cut them, you can walk it a little bit better. But this one's already walking really good. The tails aren't super long. So that's going to be, you know, helpful. I don't even know if you really need to trim, to trim this one. Like I said, on every single one, I usually trim it. But this one, I don't even think you're going to need to trim it on. It walks perfectly fine. It's not too long. I think it's perfect. What? Guys, what was that? I know we saw it on the camera. That was a fish right there. I don't know if it was a mud fish. That freaked me out. Oh my gosh. That was weird. That fish was all the way up on the bank in that grass. It just literally swam. It was like almost on the bank. It was literally right there. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This frog and i'm being honest with you i mean you guys can see it in front of me this frog walks better than probably what 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 oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god guys did you oh my god i threw the frog right in front of me i cut the heck out of myself I threw the frog right in front of me to show you guys how it was walking. And I just had a fish. I've never seen anything like that in my life. What? <laughs> that was so cool. It's not a big fish. It's only about a pound. But that was crazy. I, would, I just flipped it right in front of me to show you guys how it was walking. And this guy hammered it. What in the world's going on? That was the craziest bite I've had in such a long time. Well, that was just incredible. I mean, all I got to say was that was incredible. Catching the first fish today, like I said, I never care about the size. But the way that that fish was just caught is incredible. We're gonna get you right back in the water, buddy. Thank you so much. That was just 10 out of 10 performance. Wow, <laughs> guys, that was so cool. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Man, you don't, you, you don't usually get a lot of bites out here too. I'm actually very, I'm surprised on that one right there. That was really neat. Anyways, since we were sadly interrupted, by, by a fish hammering the frog. I am not gonna complain about that. That was actually really cool. But let me show you guys what I was talking about. What in the world? That was insane. All right, so <laughs> I've never had anything like that happen. So this thing just walks and darts side to side so perfectly. What I was saying is like, it just, it just moves really quick. And I think if we trim down the silicone a little bit more that it would walk a little bit better. But like I said, it's, 
it's walking perfect side to side. You barely twitch your rod and it's walking the dog. And uh, it's just perfect. Like, like, look at that thing in the water. Boom. Look at that. It's literally completely shifting 180 degrees every time you pop it. Look at that right there. All right, anyways, let's get to fishing, guys. That was insane. I've never seen anything like that. The funny thing is I actually made a caster right here. I made a bunch of casts around here. What in the world, man? That was so cool. All right, we got two rods right here. We have a little spinning combo with a weightless clout, and then we got the Divine hybrid jig on this rod. We're gonna start off with the hybrid jig, and or not the hybrid jig, the, the swim jig, the swim jig, my bad. Let's see if we can get a good one to bite it. I know they're there. <laughs> Where I call that fish, or I hook that fish, bro. We hooked like three giants that day. I already know at least one of those were probably a six, seven pounder. See that? Got a fire on my oh my god, watch him come up and eat it. I thought he had it. Oh, we did have it. Oh, right when it hit the water, he ate it. Yeah, that was crazy. Right when it hit the water, yeah, that's two bites, two casts. Oof. Yeah. There he is. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's actually a good one, dude. Yo. Bradley, come here. Yeah, that's actually a really good one. First fish today. Oh, baby. Dude, that's a Ready? really good one. Look at that bass. Gosh, that's a football. Look at that chunk. Ate the hybrid jig right there. That's almost a three pounder. That's how stubby he is. Look at that right there. Got, not the hybrid jig. Why do I keep calling it that? The <laughs> Got the swim jig, the divine bar. swim jig. In his mouth, divine trailer. Yo, that's legit. He ate that thing good. We got this water pumping in his rain the last couple of days. That's a beautiful fish right there. All this water's coming out of there. If you get that right cast, there's some good fish up there. So we're going to keep casting in. That's a good one, Bradley. That was a good one. It's actually a really nice fish. It's just so fat. I'm going to get her back in the water. Look at that, dude. That is awesome for the first fish. I was not expecting one that, that good. Drop you right in, baby. There she goes. We're going to get back in there. I think I'm moving water. is something that's going to keep replenishing. So if we can keep getting those right casts up there, we're going to catch some good ones. All right, guys. Well, that's our first fish today. Let's see if we can catch another one up there. We had a couple good bites. This water is flowing out so good. Bradley's throwing a fluke. I think if I think if you get that fluke up there, yeah, it definitely get much really good. That was actually a really good fish. I'm surprised about that. The first one. You just got to get up there so far. Oh, yo, no way. That was dope, dude. Is it a big one? Bradley on the track with a freaking pretty good fish. Dude, through the tree. Dude, that was so cool. Oh, no. No. You were all the way. That was actually really cool. Dang, dude. Counts. It hit that bank, bro. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, Bradley. It was, it was close. It's a close one. You're up under that. Dude, I skipped through that second <laughs> trail back. I heard him hit. He, dude, that was like an echo underneath that tree. You got one? Huh. <laughs> Oh, I saw him eat that. Is that a big one? Yeah. Really? Oh, God. Dude. Bradley. 
Bradley on the track. <laughs> Look at this fish, guys. Choked it. All right there, Divine Swim G. Same thing, but yours is a little bit lighter, right? Yeah, I'm doing a quarter ounce. That's a three pounder. Chunk. Yeah, that's nice. Get back in there. I think it's because of that wind pushing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You lit, bro, you landed on that and it was instant. I saw your rod. That's a massive bed in front of me. You see that? Right there. Huge bed. Grab it. Oh my god, dude. Look what I got. That's, dude. That's from when we came the other day, dude. That's your freaking crankbait. That you, remember the six cents one you broke off? Yeah. That's it, dude. Get it, bro. Get it. Ah. <laughs> you want to get in the water? <laughs> it's so cold. I ain't getting in the water. Yo. Yo, I'm getting his bait. Oh, my God. Hold up. Hold up. Keep it slightly. Don't pull it too far. Yo, that's so funny, guys. We came fishing here like a week ago, and I got Bradley my six cents bait pack, baby. Bradley broke off this little square bill. That's so funny. That is so Bro, funny. You had a fish. It's still good too because it was only like a week old. It literally looks perfect. That's funny. Since that trailer broke, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm throwing. This is the Divine Swim Baits, but this color is freaking dope. Me and Bradley were just talking about. It's called Sexified Shad. Sexified. And this is the 4.4 inch. Yeah. We got it on a chartreuse and white divine swim jig and and this something about this color just looks really good i like the chartreuse with it because when i re when i throw regular swim baits i usually just throw white but ever since i ordered some of these six cents ones i've been throwing the chartreuse it's been pretty dope this one the one i had on before was just chartreuse and this one has like some blue on top of it it looks dope and the way that you put these things on bradley said he was fishing with it the other day you can literally catch 10 fish on one swim bait I'm not exaggerating that. It's just called 16. A, you got 16 on one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're freaking Same. crazy. But, I mean, the reason mine came off because of the tail. But look how good. Bradley, look at that, dude. That looks soft. Well, we ended up not catching them, surprisingly. Um, we didn't spend too much time out there. We're actually at a new place, this big, like, lake. I mean, it's a bank fishing area. It's pretty big, though. Um, you guys have seen this in the other videos. There's a bunch of good fish out here. They're hard to catch. This is one of the hardest ponds that I have. But... Usually when you catch some, they're really big. And look at this bed that we see. I actually see some more out here. This is a huge flat. I thought I saw a fish swimming as a turtle, but look at that bed. That's insane. There's another bed over there. This might be really good. Let me show you guys. I got a little switch up here. I brought the swim jig and the Texas rig that I had on, but I also brought my frog. So that could be really good as well. I think we're gonna start off with this, see if we can catch the giant. I'm telling you. Oh, Bradley, there's a decent one right, looking right at me. Oh my God, look at him swim under that. I'm trying to stay still. There's a big fish right here. Oh my God, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, he swam off. Oh, he's still cruising. Yeah, Yo, you got that swim jig? Let me see that swim jig real quick. Watch this. This is crazy. Yeah. He's right here on bed. Oh, look. Oh, he's about to eat it. Look. Do you see him? No. He's going to eat it. Oh, 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 oh. He put his nose on it. Watch this. I'm going to catch this fish. He's on bed, too. Oh, dude, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he had the tail. Look, he took the tail right there. He's so mad. I'm pissing him off like crazy now. Watch this. All right, we're going to try the clout. This fish is going to eat. I don't know what he's going to eat, but he's literally just locked on. He's so mad, too. He might eat this just because it's different. Here we go. Look at him, he just chased it up on the bank. I haven't had a fish this angry on bed in a minute. Oh. 
took it. That's why you wear your glasses. Yeah, that could have been really bad. Could have been really bad. Guys, that's crazy. This is that Nirvana clout. This fish is so catchable. I, I'm just, he's not the biggest. He's a pretty good one though. Hoping they can see him eat it on camera. I don't think so. Look at him sitting there, dude. He's just short striking it. Look how mad he is. He took it that <laughs> This is a prime bed fish, bro. He's gonna bite. You wanna try it? Yeah. I think he's, you're gonna get him this next time. There you go. I think he's gonna eat that. Yeah. <gasps> oh God. Dude, he's so territorial, Bradley. He's gonna eat it right here, watch. There you go. There you go. Get him. <laughs> yes. This is a solid two pounder, dude. He's a lot bigger. Oh, look. Do you spit up the clout? <laughs> Yo, that is so funny. In the mouth. We got you that time, bud. We just gonna get you back in the water. We're gonna put you right back on your bed, baby. Look at that. She had, she spit up my clout. I don't know where the other ones went. It's a beautiful little fish. 1.5 yonder. Y'all. Bradley's uh on the track. Bradley's on board. Put her right back. Put her right back. She'll swim right back to her bed. Yeah, you kind of got to toss him out here. Look at that. Right back on it. Wow. Probably about again. Did you think about that? It's awesome. That's fun. Bed fishing in his prime. I wonder if there's some pre spawners on the drop off. I don't really think they're on bed yet. Man. Oh my God, Bradley. It came off. Son. Oh, he got me again. Biggin, biggin. Oh, he ain't that big. Yo, that was right there on the drop off. That's kind of crazy on the prawn. Nice. Look at that right there. Got it. Yo, that was crazy. So he bit me. I threw it out there by the then time. Got you again. Yeah, I threw it out there by the time it hit the bottom. He already had it. And uh, I started to reel it in. My crawl was messed up and he just bit it when I was reeling it in. I'm like, wow. There's probably a bunch of beds out. See, I wasn't too far to where I was on that drop off. I don't think I casted far enough out there. It's a pretty little fish. Not big, we're gonna still find those big ones, but that was just weird, man. Like I had that bite, started reeling it, boom, she loaded up on it. But now I'm on board. We got two fish, pretty ones. See ya, bud. So I have a brand new Snatch 70X right here. This one is in brown, oh, this is brown eye. You guys remember when I was killing them on this color? I was killing them in the quake though, not the snatch, but I think the snatch is gonna get them done. I'm gonna fan cast on this flat because there's so many beds and I just think if we get a moving bait and I can fan cast out there, especially with this with that vibration, I think it could be deadly. So we're gonna cut off this Texas rig temporarily. You know, if we're, if we just, if it's just not happening, you know, we'll probably switch back. But I, I really have a lot of confidence on this lake with lipless crankbaits. It's kind of been my my thing that I've caught them on out here really good. So I'm gonna start fan casting this cause I think there's a ton of fish. And if I can get it way out there on that drop off, there might be some big pre-spawners that are gonna munch. So I'm gonna tie this bad boy on. I'm gonna get the casting, see if we can catch a big one. Yeah. <clears throat> now I catch him. There he is. Ate it on the fall. I can't move him. He might be big. I can't tell. Oh, he ain't big. Why was he going like that? That was weird. I must have him hooked weird. Ate, ate it on the fall, guys. <laughs> Little guy. Ugh. Little guy. That's not bad, though. He ate that sucker on the... He felt really big. I think it's... Look how I have him hooked. Uh, through the lips. You see that? Like, through both lips. That's why he felt so big. Dude, I hooked into him. I was like, dude, that's a big fish. That's a good little start on the snatch though. Not bad. Point is they're gonna eat it. That's all we needed to know. We didn't need to catch a big one on the first one, but as long as we know they eat it, I'm gonna get the pliers. It's my juice color, Bradley. That's a little, uh, little fatty. Not bad. Get her right back in. A little toss. She goes.